one of the four main MySQL commands or SQL commands is the insert command. To use the insert command you are going to be putting data into a table. So as an example here we have two tables in this database. One of them called categories, the other one called products. This is, uh, as you can see up here at the top, this is the categories table that we're looking at. So inside the categories table we have two columns, category ID and category name. We want to insert some data into the category name table. So I'm going to go over to uh, the SQL tab here. I'm not going to use the, the insert tab, but instead I'm going to use the SQL tab. This allows me to write SQL commands from scratch. So I'll clear out what uh, the default is in there, and we'll start with our basic insert into. Now, after those first two keywords, we have to put the name of the table that we want to add the data into. So insert into categories, and then we're going to have a set of brackets. On the next line, we save values with another set of brackets. Now the first set of brackets, this is where we list off all of the column names that we want to use. In this case, category name, that's the only column that we really need to put anything into. Category ID, which is the other column, is an auto increment primary key, which means the database is going to take care of it when we need to add something into that. Alright, so one value to put into here, and we'll say that it's fresh produce. That's going to be our category. Now there's a go button over on the right hand side. I will click that and there we go. Inserted one row right there. Inserted one row. Inserted row ID is eight. So if I browse the table now, we can see that down here a little bit just at the bottom of this list we're going to be able to see, well it's just off the screen here, but fresh produce is the last thing that's been added. All right, now jumping over to the products table. This table is a little bit more complicated. Product name, price, product SKU, category ID, product description. So let's do the same thing. Let's go to the SQL tab. SQL tab right up there at the top. We'll wipe out the default stuff that's in there. And we'll write our insert command. Insert into products. Now we're going to have a set of brackets, values and another set of brackets. We can put extra space in here. If we throw in extra space or leave it out, it's not going to make a difference as long as the keywords are separated. So in the products column list up at the top here, we've got product ID, product name, product price, product SKU, category ID, and the product description. Now product ID at the very beginning, that's going to be left blank because product ID is another one of those auto increment primary keys. The database is going to fill in the number for us. So we want to specify product name, product price, product SKU, category ID, make sure we spell it right, the names are case sensitive when we're going to be going into uh, PHP. In MySQL, it's a lot more forgiving. So if I were to accidentally put a capital P on any of those product names, MySQL will be able to handle it. Once we get into PHP, we have to make sure that those names are case sensitive and that we do it correctly. All right, so values. We're going to put something into our uh, fresh products category, which was category ID eight. So product name, we'll say Boston Lettuce. Product price, well, let's say that it's going to be uh, 129. Product SKU, we're just going to make up something here. Now it is a 9. Product SKU is a 9 character char field, which means that Everything that goes in there has to be exactly nine characters long. Our category ID 8, that's the fresh products one that we just added a moment ago. And product description, this is lettuce. 
All right, that looks like it's good. We're going to hit the go button, which is just off the right hand side of the screen. And there we go. It said inserted row one, inserted row ID five. And right here, there's just the color coded repetition of what we've done. All right, so browsing the table now, you can see just down here at the very bottom, there is the entry that we added Boston lettuce with a product ID five. There's the price, SKU, category ID. Everything looks good.